My kids were so affected because the relationship was abusive, number one. Mm. And it affected them. Anger issues, you, you understand? Yeah. yeah. So it affected them. So as much as when you think you, you want to build them a home, but the damage that is done to them emotionally, it's, it, it, it doesn't it's compare. Yeah. It doesn't compare. Welcome to Unlock with Tando Maumela, a podcast where positivity and open-mindedness are embraced. We are set to discuss various topics aiming to build, challenge mindsets and societal norms, question mediocrity and uplift spirits. If anything, expect a mind-blowing podcast hosted by your very own sister coach, a.k.a. Sheila Tando Kamaumera, the Kingdom Diva Danko. Welcome to Unlock with Tando. We are having yet another dynamic day, beautiful day, where we are having conversations, um, you know, love, spirituality, a life and stuff like that. So here we are open-minded. Here we speak about conversations that are uncomfortable. We speak about education and anything motivating and, um, you know, holistic. We are having a guest and she goes by Dr. Beauty Makutu, but she will uh, introduce herself. Ma, thank you so much for coming to Unlock with Tando. Maumela. Oh, Tando, thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, I'm really humbled to be here. And I always tell people, Luguti, God always has a choice. So that day when he chooses you, then you must really take it serious. Mnandingu Beauty Magudu, the author of Lasting Love. And I have many other caps, you know. Uh, I'm a minister of the word of God, you know. I'm a mentor, I'm a coach, uh, a facilitator, a mother, a grandmother for that matter and a widow currently. Yes, coming from Uppington, Pa in Northern Cape, that place that is always known to be very hot. Yeah, that is where I come from. Ma, I, you know, the part that you're a widow is what just blew me off. I did not think that, that I said. And yeah, more than anything, I think I would want to know more about the memories that you share now. Okay. When did Utata pass? Utata passed on on the 27th of May last year. So, yes. Sorry, <laughs> so it's a year and a month uh, to be exact now. And when I get when Zanga is Ozila, Mama? When you were just looking so young. <laughs> yeah, everybody's raving about me looking so young now. Yeah. No, I suppose Uxila could depend on him doing it. Okay. Uh, I did. I did mourn. The morning end like I am because I'm a Christian number one. Amen. You know, Utiko Uti, my singer Zilinje ngabantu banga call. You know. Yeah. So I did. I did. I did. It was very difficult. Uh, extremely difficult. But Utiko ke being our helper in the Holy Spirit, being our comforter. You know, I find comfort in him. I find comfort in him. Wow. Ma, you have been married for how long, Notata? Uh, in the of Notata, it's a long story. We were actually high school students. Nazo, the story <laughs> begins. Yeah, we were high school students uh, in 1978. That's when we met. And then life happened. He went into exile. Now I went into my own direction, and we were apart for 32 years. Yes. For real? For real. Okay, and? No contact, no nothing, and then 32 years later, we reunited. Okay. Good 32 years while you are apart, what's happening with your life? We had our own lives. Okay. I got married, okay. and then he got married. Mm -hmm. Then he was a widow. I got divorced. 30, 30 years later, and then four years thereafter, we met. We? We met in Uppington because he is also originally from Uppington. Okay. Yeah, we grew up together. We went to the same school. We were taught by the same teachers. Our parents were friends, mm. you know? Yeah. And life had just a way of connecting you guys. Did he have children in the marriage? No, he didn't have. And you? I have. Okay, yeah, how many children? I have two. I have two okay. beautiful children, yes. 
Now you are meeting again. No data, what happens? <laughs> to be honest, I I didn't think I was gonna get married again. Why? To be honest. I I think I had concluded Uguti, there's no love. Yeah. I had concluded Uguti marriage does not work, you okay. know. Yeah. Because of my past experience, you mm. know. And uh, so I was just done with men, basically, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so were you on the queue of men are trash as well? Yeah, no, I was like, no, I'm fine. And in fact, you know how we console ourselves, Uguti. Yeah, you know, I don't need a man. And so stuff. he's coming to do what in my life, you know. And that was my argument. Uguti, how, what is this man coming to do? Like, I'm to do, yeah, you I'm know. I'm to do. <laughs> And, uh, but Utikuya Saziman, God knows us, you know, and uh, he just called me and he was like, um, where are you? Can we talk? I'm here for you. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> you know, you're here for me. Where have you been all this while? You know, uh, when we were in, in high school, we were like this. I'm at an old We were like this. And, uh, we were friends, and uh, but we were very close. Mm. And then the breakup happened in Jengenle Lenga Kondakali, you know. So I was still holding on to why did you leave me in the first place, you know, because I never got reasons for that, mm. you know. And so Kaya said, no, I'm here for you. I'm like, no, I'm not coming, and easy. Mm, do you know what you put me through? Yeah, over no, no, and easy. Yeah. But it took the Holy Spirit to bring me to my knees. Mm -hmm. Because I remember vividly, I was at home alone, uh, busy putting peanut butter on my bread. And I heard an audible voice saying to me, get over yourself. You need to get Stop married. with the pride. Yeah, man. just get over yourself, you know. How would you feel when you see this man knowing that you were supposed to be married to him? You see him walking in town holding hands with somebody, knowing that it was supposed to be you. I was like, no, Holy Spirit, me, I'm not looking for a man, you know. But because Galoku, we, 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 we trust and obey. We follow what the Holy Spirit is leading us. And so, long story short, we got married. In his passing, we were married for nine years. So, Mama, you've had the best time of your life for nine years. Yeah. I call it a fairy tale marriage. <laughs> Each time I watch your clips, that's where you say, I never thought I would have a love like this. And there's songs like that, that actually, you know, authors of songs. And you coming at your age saying such, it's the most interesting thing that one could ever say. What happened in the marriage, Ma? Um, I want to start by saying that, you know, when you get married, you have your wish list. Yes. Your good tea, this is what I want. I wanted a, a, a godly man. I wanted a man that I can serve God with. I wanted a prayer partner. I wanted a friend. I wanted a confidant, you know. Yeah. I had that list. And, uh, but I thought I was going to get it in my first marriage. Yeah, because you because, were young. Yeah. Of course. I mean, I prayed. I sowed seeds, I fasted, I laid prostrate. Mm -hmm. I like there's nothing you did there's not There's nothing I didn't do, you know, and even when the divorce came it was not me, you know, because Is I it? still believed that it will work. <laughs> I, I I still believed. I mean, 30 years later, you know. So, but when I got marriage gate to Bishop Magudu, I I I literally look at the list and I ticked all the boxes. Like 100%. Mm -hmm. Everything I prayed for. A, a godly man, mm -hmm. a prayer partner. We, we were ministering together, back to back. Like, we, we were friends. Like, we would have discussions, go say four o'clock, and we are still talking, you know? And so I could take my list and, like, everything I prayed for, I got it in the second marriage. And that is why I'm, I'm talking about lasting love, you know? Okay, so 
Hey, mom. Now, for someone who's sitting out there, and you know they are feeling, hey, I don't think um, I want to wait thirty years for me to get out and actually find love anew. If it had all exists, it had all exists. Why is he letting me go through such turmoil? What would you say to such a person? Yeah, I, I, I think Utiko gives us uh, our own will. Like he doesn't go against your will. Okay. He will always respect your will. As much as he has a perfect will for you. But if mna, I don't adhere to the perfect will yak. He will allow me in my permissible will, you know, yeah. and and I will go. I will go through. I want to believe that had I not followed my permissible will, maybe I would have saved the thirty years of grief mm. and pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, understand. And so that is why even in my book, I'm talking about we must understand that umchato in dogatiko number mm -hmm. one. It comes from him, is his brainchild. Mm -hmm. But we must also understand, Ukuti, when we get married, he has his own assignment within, within the marriage. marriage. And most of the time, we don't ask him, Tiko, you've put us together. We are married. What is your assignment mm -hmm. concerning the marriage? Yeah. Because what makes this one very different from that one I asked him, Guti, Dizoti me. And then, yes, what am I here for? And then he told me, what is it that I need to do? So I followed the assignment. And when I followed the assignment, the rest was added. The fairy tale was added. So I would say to someone, Perfect will of God. The perfect will of God. Just follow the perfect will of God. You will save yourself so much trouble. So, Mama, oh, your your children, you know, you left that marriage. Your children were how old? My children were quite big at the time. Uh, Uvi Ogazi, the, the last one, I think he was 26. And Usimpio was 28. And what were they saying? I was so surprised because Uvyogaz is the more quiet one, okay. you know, and it was daddy's girl, you know. As always. Yeah. Actually. And uh, so because I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, to get rid of that marriage, really. Mm. And I remember uh, at that time I was now 20 years married. And she said to me, but mama, what guarantee do you have over to the next 20 years are going to be any different? I was like, eh? Hey. She says, yeah, because when you are unhappy, automatically we are unhappy. Amen. You know? Yeah. So happy it's wife, not happy changing. Home. It's it's not changing. And what guarantee? So, I mean, but for me, it, I was taken aback because I didn't think that she she would uh, reason that way. Oba, she's daddy's girl, you know? We, we, we... As much as I, I realize, Ngoku, that as much as we are daddy's girls, we we also have affection towards you as our mothers, and we want the best for you. We, daddy's girls actually know how their dads are. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. So de definitely, I had said to myself, I'm not going to go and marry someone like my dad, and I definitely didn't go there. Yeah, yeah. Even let go of the Kosa yes. culture completely. Yes. Went yes. For different. Yes. So I hear... Of yoga as it completely. Yeah, yeah. Gogu, it, the transition was easy for you to say, I'm leaving, Gogu. You know, uh, I remember the day when it happened. Um, it be like that day, I mean, it was such a fun day. Like for the first time in a long time, we even went to Nando's. Like, for a change, yeah. you know? And we came back and while everybody's here, can we, I have something to say. And at that time, I thought, Uba, things are better. Mm. <laughs> we understand. Mm. And it's like, I have something to say. And uh, so we sat down. And it's like, I want out. 
to just drop that bombshell. And his reasons were? And like, no, no, I'm tired. Um, I also want to have my own life. I want to have my own things. And, uh, and don't stop me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I made know? up my mind. Yeah, and don't stop me with a firm voice. And me being me, I was always arguing that ah, you're stuck with me. Like I'm going nowhere. I mean, you 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 took me when I was 19, and now yeah. and easy and in now, you know. Mm. And I heard that soft voice in me, you know. The Holy Spirit said, "Let go, yeah. and let God. Yeah. Just let go and let God." I was like, "Okay," you know. Would you say? Do, would you say the the pain of divorce is worse than the pain of being a widow? Now that you've experienced both? Oh, yeah. Quite interesting question. Eh? I think um, the pain of divorce is worse. Yeah. yeah. Because you, you, you have lived it. Mm. And uh, you were hoping that things would be better. Mm. And it's lost years. It's lost time mm. that you cannot really recover. Although God is a restorer, but you can't recover everything, you know? Of course. And uh, the stigma that it leaves you with as a person, Guti. But I failed, you understand? And there is so much condemnation. In you society. Know? Yeah, yeah. There's so much condemnation, and you just like as if you have leprosy. And uh, there's just a lot of uh, stigma and pain and grief that you go through. Whereas the, the, the pain of being a widow, you find closure. Yeah. You find closure. Yeah. I was there, life was good or life was not good, but you find closure. Mm. You the know? person is no more. Yeah, the person is no more, mm. you know. So for me, I think uh, the pain of divorce, I would not even wish it even to my worst enemy. Mm. It's painful. And our, our, I was just recalling as well some other time, Oguti, as much as the marriage was so bad, it was bad, but when the divorce happened, it was so painful. Yeah. It was extremely painful. So it means that when God says that you become one flesh, you just, you do become one flesh. A part of you yeah, literally. Yeah, a part of you away. is cut off, is ripped mm -hmm. off, you know. So... The marriage was bad, but the divorce was painful. I can't say it was not painful. It was extremely painful. Uh, it almost brought me into depression, you know. It was hard. I mean, I'm a prayerful person, but it was difficult. Yeah. You it lost took, words. Yeah, yeah. It took other people uh, uh, to uplift to me. To carry you. To carry me, you know. And, and it, you, you can't, I mean, let, it must really be the last resort. It must really be the it last resort. It must really be the last resort. And your recommendation before we get to the last resort would be? Yeah, my recommendation is that uh, I, I, I think when you get married younger, you are very naive. True. And there's no school where you are taught. Mm -hmm. Okay, our parents did their best yeah. by telling us you must persevere. There's, yeah. there's no school, it's a trial and error, mm. you know. But I think if I had known earlier, Oguti, God is the driver. Yeah. If I had known earlier that it's partnership with the Holy Spirit in mm. the marriage, Amen. you know, I, 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 I think maybe things would have worked out differently. If I had known Oguti, I'm on my own here. It's my own will. It's not what he wants for me. Because red flags will always be there. Trust yeah. me. <laughs> red flags Apparently are there. So. Yeah, red flags are there. And even in my case, red flags were there. Very visible. But I'm like, I okay, them now. Yeah, amongst, amongst the rest of them. You, you understand, mm. you know. So red flags will always be there. And we tend to ignore the red flags and, and want to say, no, things will change. They don't change, eh? They don't change. So... In, in your first marriage, Mama, eh, when did you realize the red flags? Would you say, um, you know how marriage back in the day, there, there's, there's just a connotation that we are supposed to be subservient to the next person or subservient to our husbands. 
compared to us having this partnership that you're speaking about? Were you feeling that, Apa, I'm here to serve someone who's also not interested to some extent? The red flags were there from the very onset. Yeah. How did he choose you anyway? Um, I realized later, maybe it was the pressure of the friends. Oh. Uh, because I know in his uh, surroundings, there were other people who were friends of his that were telling him, but yo, Unzwaki, as that they call me, <laughs> she's wife material, you okay. know. And I remember one friend even said, if you're not going to marry her, tell us. <laughs> you we understand? Now we've got plans. Yeah, yeah we, 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 we know a good thing when we see it, you know. So I suppose maybe it was that too, you know. But I cannot sit here and lie and say there were no red flags. They were mm. there from the onset. I went in there knowing that there are red flags, but hoping that things will get better. And also the pressure, Yoguti, all my friends were getting married at that time. So yes. I, I had my own pressure, you know. And my mother being a closer woman, you understand? So you have all these pressures. You know, and you are young and naive and you, you, you just want to see you there, see yeah, yourself okay. there, you understand? But red flags were there. At 19, were you able to then achieve the things that you wanted to achieve once you're in the marriage? Uh, and looking at the status now that you've gotten yourself as a doctor, yeah. when did you achieve the things that you wanted to achieve? You know, when, 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 when I got born again in 1986, that is when everything changed. Mm, you're so young then. <laughs> yeah. Because then now I was no longer focusing in trying to please him. Okay. I was now focusing and doing what the word of God requires of me to do. Okay. okay. What he does, he's doing it. Mm. I can't stop him. I can pray for him. Yeah. You know. But my focus is no longer in changing him. Yeah. My focus is doing what is God expecting me to do in the marriage. Okay. That was number one. And then secondly, I, 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 I because I'm, I'm very ambitious. I'm a, a very ambitious mm -hmm. person, you know. And I just decided to focus on me and do the things that, that are satisfying me, you know. I studied. I started mm -hmm. studying from a very long... I mean, I think at one time I was saying to myself, I think I got an obsession of studying mm -hmm. because I would finish this degree and go to that degree. And so it kept me busy. Mm -hmm. So it was work, home, church. Okay. And what work were you doing, Mama? Oh, I've been in the corporate sector for the longest time. Okay. I've worked for big corporations, your South African Airways, your telecoms, your ESCOMs, you know, the net bank. Uh, Sasita up until I had my own company, you know. What so does the company do? The company is still training and development because uh -huh. that's my background, Amen. you know, and that is where I'm qualified at, you know. Okay. Yeah, it's called Freenesis Training Academy. Okay. Yeah. It's based in Uppington? It's based in Uppington. Okay. Yeah. So Umama then empowered herself through her journey while Omnia is busy in life. What hurt the most in that marriage, mom? If you just say, these are the things that hurt the most, and I would not want any daughter, because I believe I'm your daughter, Undibu, here is, and the rest of the children out there who are my age, or even younger, what hurt the most? What would you say we must not stand for, M. Chadwin? Yeah, I think you, you should not stoop that low to a level that the equines are small. Mm. Don't yeah. believe the lie that you are stupid, you are worthless, mm -hmm. you know, you are just a nobody, mm -hmm. you know, you are a failure. Don't go there. Because once a person at this idea, Okuti, that's how he sees you. You can't change, change that perception. Them. You cannot change it, no matter what you do. I mean, I went to, to so much length because I watched his feet, he, gonna cha it, he won't change. He doesn't change. Mm, he doesn't see your worth. He doesn't see your worth. 
period, no matter what you do. So I think uh, I would say to somebody out there, don't ignore the red flags, even before you get in. Don't. During the courtship phase? Yeah, okay, the during the courtship. Don't ignore. And I think um, I think back then, we, we, we kind of had at our back, or back of our head, but I'm looking for a guy who is like this. Mm. But if I can't get that one, I can lower my standards. Mm. Big no no. A big no no. Big no no. Don't lower your standards. Yeah, yeah don't lower your standard. If you feel good, this is what I'm deserving, and obviously, get in conjunction with the plan of God concerning your life, mm. but don't lower your standards. Ma, how would you say OOV, your daughter, over your guys has been affected? Yeah. And uh, this this question is very important, Tando, because, I mean, we grew up, mm. that's what we were taught. Something stable. Yeah, something, something stable. They might, I remember there was this lady, Every time I would want to leave in the early years, and she would tell me, "But when are we are cooking? And where would these kids of yours say ikaya? Mm. So you need to build ikaya labo. Yeah, you know, and you stay for that, thinking that you are building a home for them. Mm. But what I realized, Uguti, my kids were so affected because the relationship was abusive. Number one, mm. and it affected them. Anger issues. You, you understand? Yeah. yeah. So it affected them. So as much as when you think you, you want to build them a home, but the damage that is done to them emotionally, it's, it, it, it doesn't it's compare. Yeah. It doesn't compare, you know? And, and one can just, uh, thank God, Uguti, I'm a praying mom. I talk to them, you know? You talk to them. I talk to them, you know? And uh, I seek counsel, you know? Yeah. I seek counsel. It's not uh, to go for therapy. It's not taboo, even though you are a Christian. Amen. It's not taboo, you know. So I took them to psychologists, you know, to, mm. to just uh, get better, you yeah. know. But it does affect them. So then you realize, Uguti, what was this thing that I was staying for? Yeah. You know? Over the years. Over the years. They actually needed me. Yeah, because now that home is gone anyway. It went, you know, yeah. and the emotions are there and they, they, they are bad. You, and mm. So what was it that I was actually staying for? Your in-laws, where were they in all this <sighs> turmoil? Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Uh, I think also as parents, we, we kind of choose who we want as an in-law, yeah. daughter-in-law, you know. So I think uh, my ex-mother-in-law had her person, okay. you know, okay. who was not me. Okay. And uh, But I didn't know until I was in the marriage, oh. you know, because I remember one day she came with a picture of somebody. To you? To my house. And? And like, I can answer Lento Mazana. I was like, am I dreaming? I'm like, okay, I'll take a deep breath and I'll pretend I did not hear. And then the second visit came. And then the third visit came, same story. And then now on the third visit, I said, Mama, I think you should accept Guti. I'm your daughter-in-law. Mm. I'm here now. I'm not going anywhere. And I'm not going anywhere, you know. So it was, it was bad. It was bad. So you, you get divorced 30 years later. What was the feeling, the atmosphere like with the in-laws? There was no relationship. It was so broken. 
because even at the time when it happened, immediately I moved out. Um, in fact, before I moved out, my mother-in-law came and lived with us. My ex-mother-in-law came and lived with us, wow. and it was, it was, it was torture. Initially, when I had started this podcast, my series was squashing traditional beefs between Omakoti and the in-laws. What would you say to a mother-in-law out there who's, um, I believe you're a mom to a son. Yes. Zabana Omakoti one day. What message do you have for a mom-in-law out there? I think mother-in-laws mother must accept the choice. Ganyan. Yes. Yeah. Because... Uh, you can advise, but you can't decide. Yes. As a mother, in, as a mother, you know, you can give counsel. Yeah. But you can't make the choice, so you must allow the son. Yeah. To choose. Apatanda con. Yeah. Yeah, con. Because when that marriage is not working out, you will be blamed. It mm -hmm. was not my choice. It was your choice. Yeah. And it's a, it's a non-starter. Because already you're going in there being unkoskazi, kama mom, and not mine. Hey. It's a non starter. Yeah. So don't even begin, I would say. Hey, yeah. So, okay, Mama, we come to the nicer part. You are in this marriage. First, you had a celebration with your new man? No, we, oh, our story is something <laughs> else. <laughs> So now I was still adamant that I didn't want to get married. And I'm like, mm -mm, I had to get married. I'm like, okay. So now we got married in court on a public holiday. Home affairs. Okay. Yes. How did you get a date for a public <laughs> holiday? So now we went to make the booking and I was saying, oh, it would be nice to be married on my birthday, which is the 1st of May. May Day, ah, you know. Workers' Day. Workers' Day. And uh, the official say, we can arrange that. I'm like, are you for real? She says, yeah. Ah, yours was orchestrated by God. I'm Generally, telling you. Is I'm gonna telling you. Us. So Home Affairs opened on the 1st of May on a public holiday. For you. Just for us to get married. And after that, Home Affairs closed. <laughs> <laughs> the heavens backed you up, no doubt. Mm. So now, Ma, you are entering into this marriage. You do the lobola thing again and don't, don't. Yes. Yeah, because you are you yeah. are grounded like that. Yes. With culture. Yeah, and my father was very protective over me. And uh, he would just not let me go. And I remember even on the day, because my dad was like, no, my daughter is rich. Yo. <laughs> so oh, you, you, my you understand. My daughter is rich. I like that part. Yeah, oh, that, yeah, oh, that was know. my dad. That was my dad. <laughs> yeah, he so, thought big yeah, of no, you. I, no, no, you know. Oh, man. And, 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 and my dad, if it was according to him, I was supposed to be a boy and just be the son in the house, you know. At but, home, how many are you? Uh, at home, we, are, we, we were five, and I'm the firstborn. Okay. Yeah, you know. And so my, my, my dad was now throwing a tantrum like, Ay, Nyan Patreka, and Nyan Telela, you yeah. know, all these things. Because we could pick up Uguti. It's like this marriage, there is something that wants to hinder it from happening. Even the first time around. Even the first time around. And you ended up not yes. connecting. Yes, yeah. you know. And so uh, my late would always See say... See the devil even using daddy. Yeah. So daddy was like, no, no. And then my mom was so wise. And my mom said, That's me. I was stressing. I mean, I cleaned the kitchen in one hour. And I started to... You know, I was so stressing, and my dad was like, no, 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 no. And my mom said, I must see very routine. And so uh, then we caucused, and I said, no, me, I agree, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Mm. And imagine, okay, I, but then I understand where my dad was coming from. The pain it, you went through. Yeah, the pain. He, he was trying to protect me. Yeah. And also now these people are coming by all over and they want to chat the following day. We understand it's just not done, you know? And so my father <laughs> felt so <laughs> undermined. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my father <laughs> felt so undermined, you know, but we had to do it quick, quick, because we could see the enemy is really fighting the marriage, you mm-hmm. know? And uh, thank God to my mom's wisdom. Man. You know, it prevailed. Mother. Yeah. <laughs> and my mom was like, you know? Mm. Yeah. And so, yeah. So you went on to get married. We went on to and get married. And Ngogu, you were back home, Simpiwe, and V is at home as well? With no, you? They, they live here in Johannesburg. They've been living here all their lives. Is it? Yeah. How so, ma? Um... They never wanted to stay in Apintanang. It na after Kupele Yonkin. We were here in Joburg at that time. Is it? Yeah, we, I stayed here for 30 odd years in Joburg, yeah. So when everything was now just falling apart, I needed uh, a break. Mm. And I thought going home would be maybe better. Yeah. At least my parents are there. They were still alive at the time. You know, and the so, comfort you need is there. Yeah, yeah. At heart, emotionally, and otherwise. Yes. Yeah. So I just went home. And I left them here, but I, we can visit, but we will never stay. Uppington is this small, yeah, you know. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so they've been living here all their lives, okay. you know. Yeah. And Besebe Batala. Besebe Batala, anyway. Yeah. Nanto, you getting into this marriage, fairy tale starts for you. Oh my you word! You started to build a home together. Yes. Okay. Yes. And what was that journey like? Oh, that journey. It was so awesome. Yeah, when I um to like your soulmate. Yeah. Uh, I remember we would be in the same house. Maybe I would be in the bedroom. He would be in the lounge. Few minutes, and he would say, "Love, open the ngago vu perfume lunchi." I mean, we are in the same house, you know, and. Um, but the cherry on top for me was that the fact that we could do ministry together. So you started a church? We started a church. Is the church operational now? No, it's not operational now. Okay. What we did, we started a church and we raised other uh, pastors. Oh, yes, ministers, yeah. yeah ordained yes. them under ordained them, the ministry. You know, yes. Mm. And uh, so we were just overseeing, you know, yeah. even before his passing, we were just overseeing all these uh, other pastors. And, uh, oh, it was just beautiful. We traveled together, you know, and when we are traveling, we always say, I see Amba Soto. Because if we, we just decide randomly along the road that, I mean, we're not in a hurry. We don't have a small baby. Mm. You know, that's overnight. Yes. You yeah. know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's yes, overnight. Girl, road yeah. trip. Yes. And we just decide, I will love out Dinoanga. Nobody's Dinoanga. We understand. We find an excuse, you know. And would overnight, and I mean, that romance will just be rekindled all yeah. over again. Honeymoon. honeymoon. Like, I mean, we were in, in the nine years, we were just in honeymoon, I must say. Is it? My- yeah. It, it was just beautiful. I mean, people would... When they see me, it's obvious he's around. It was like that at the mall, wherever, you know. And if maybe by by a couple by, goals, yeah, <laughs> they were calling us the gold, uh, uh, the golden couple or the power couple, yes. you know. And and we were always doing things together. We were going to the shops together. I believe, Masambi, let's go and buy. Have coffee. Yeah. Have coffee, you know. Is that what you would advise of couples today for them to spend a lot of time together than spend time with friends and etc.? Is that it, what grows a relationship? Yes. Uh, it, 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 because then you can pick up, because sometimes Umdu might be going through an issue. Mm. But if you are that close, it's easy to see, even just from the waking up of Taibo, why are you having a long face? Because we are always together. This morning, 
Yeah, and it just strengthens the relationship like big time, you know. It strengthens the relationship like big time. I mean, Mnake, maybe it's not even advisable, but that is what we did. If I get invited, um, maybe there's a minister or president is coming in up in Tenkutwe, uh, can you open in prayer, but we can only invite you. The invite is just for you. Mm. I would decline. No, um, I do the same. I would decline because I'm like, mm. I'm not saying you must uh, um, uh, book both of us, but at least you must be allowed mm. to come, you know. And and that was the closeness that we had, you know. And um, we were praying for each other like nobody's business. There is nothing comforting than knowing that there is somebody who your praying. husband is praying for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, you would see things, uh, ama attacks that are coming a mile away, and you would start intercede. When the attack comes, we're so ready to conquer that attack, you know, and praying for each other, yeah, corporately and individually. So, you. You can't trade it off for anything. So, Ma, in this new marriage, right, you know that the in-laws, how was it like? Oh, my word. You know, when, when I arrived in that family, I observed something. Uba. My husband was very humble. Mm -hmm. He was very humble. He was, so sometimes people was misunderstood. In Jokba, humble, kwaki. Yabon? And I would pick up Ukuti Ayman Kodwa. There is some form of disrespect okay. that is happening okay. you know, towards him. Yeah. And so I think in the very first week, I just made a disclaimer. And I was like, you know? <laughs> and uh, I don't care who you are. I don't care where you come from. But I'm not going to watch anybody disrespecting disrespect my, husband. my husband. Power. And I just I just said it, you know. Mm. And so it was with him, you know. Oguti, this is my wife, you know. My number one pr priority, my commitment. Every other person comes second, mm. you know. And, uh, but you will find um, family politics. Of course, they are everywhere. Yeah. You will yeah. find family politics. But now, in retrospect, I've learned, Uguti, sometimes the in-laws, they are, they are behaving in a certain manner because their souls are wounded. Amen. If you have a sister-in-law that has never been married and she's 64, do you understand? Do you think now Amen. she's going to be happy for you who is now married again for the second time for that matter? You understand what I'm it trying come to say? That yeah, easy. you know. So people have wounded souls, and wounded people will always want to inflict pain to other to people. Others. Hurt people always yeah. hurt others. That's one. Secondly, the enemy is after marriage, by Man, all means. By all means. By all means. So you need to know what is the bait that Satan is using to come between you and your husband. Yeah. It could be in-laws. It could be a bait that he's using when he knows that he wants to bring strife between you and your husband. Then the in-laws will come in. Mm. So now, if you are not um, spiritually alert, Aligned, yeah. you know, that, oh, okay. This is it. This is a bait. And you we're know? not going to fall for it. Yeah. So when, when I started to see Uguti, oh, there's a bait here. I asked the Holy Spirit as to what should we do here now? Because obviously, as much as he loves me, but that is his blood family. Of course. You know, and blood is thicker than water. You understand? Standard. So he finds himself now torn in between me and them. You mm -hmm. understand? And so I asked the Holy Spirit as to what now? How, how how should I deal with this issue, you yeah. know? And then, I, I, then, then, you know, God gave me this wisdom to say, but identify as to what is the platform 
that actually makes this uh, the strife and the fighting, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, what's the platform? When does this thing always happen? Then I realized, okay, this thing will always happen when we are visiting, Okay. you know? Okay. And it's like, oh, okay, so if we remove the visiting, then there are no squabbles. As kabanang. Yes. As kagegil. As kwazubonan. Yeah. But I will leave. I'll see you when, you, when it's necessary. Yes. Yeah. So you remove the platform. And then the relationship goes in Piwe of you and Utata? Oh, my word. They were like this. He loved my kids so much. Yeah. Yeah, he loved my kids. And even now, I know they are still struggling. Yeah. Particularly with uh, Piwe. Yeah, they became very close. They became very, very close, you know. Um, so my husband was such a gift because he treated my kids with so much love and care. Mm. But even with my friends. Is it? He would just gel in with my friends, you know, <laughs> as if it's his friends, you mm. know. So he was he, he was he was just a very, very easy person. Person. Yeah. Um, so what did did the relationship that he had you know, Simpiwe supersede what Simpiwe had with his own dad? Definitely. What did you say? Have you forgiven? I have forgiven. Has he forgiven you? I, I don't know, but I, 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 I have forgiven him like a long time ago because, um, and this is what I'm talking about in the, in the book, you know, woundedness of the soul, mm. it keeps you captive. Yeah. Like it keeps you captive. It takes away. It takes away your joy. Mm. But even besides that, it, it hinders you from achieving what God has called you to do. I would not be sitting here and talking. Yeah. I would not yeah. be. I would not be. I would still be feeling that he wasted my 30 years. He wasted my youth. Mm. You know, I, I've forgiven him. And look how God has blessed me in Amen. return. Amen. And when he blesses so, you, he yeah. blesses you indeed. You, you understand. Remind so you me let of go. the scripture that says his blessings add no sorrow to them. They yes. bring it riches. Yeah. 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 So, Mama, in the nine years was, was 360 turnaround for you. Wow. A full circle. Wow. And the nine years feels so complete. Yeah. Yeah. It feels yeah. like 30 years plus nine. Amen. You know? Amen. It feels like, because we did everything that we needed to do as if we knew. There's a new book that is coming. From you as well? Yeah. We co-authored the book. With him? Yes. I'm so going to buy it. <laughs> Before he passed on, because we were just in this thing that people were always asking us about our life. How do you do this? Yeah. Because, I mean, when people see us like, you are not young, but like, how do you do it? Yeah. You so know? This book, ma, <sighs> your lasting love. Yeah. What are, the, what are the key things that we need to look out for when we are... Um, I believe that our viewers would be looking forward to buying it. And you would say to them, what is it that is key that we to look to experience with you, to journey with you? Lasting love came as a healing therapy for myself. Okay. When I wrote the chapter about the woundedness of the soul, that is when I discovered with the help of the Holy Spirit how wounded my own soul was. Not just because of his passing, but even the past traumas. And so the Holy Spirit helped me to deal with the woundedness of my soul and let go of the pain, the anger, the bitterness, the hatred, you know? And so it brought healing to myself. And the second thing is, lasting love is possible, but you cannot get into a marriage and leave the author of the marriage behind. Mm. Go and ask him 
now that I'm married or now that I'm going to get married, what is your assignment in the marriage? Because once you get that one right, the rest is history. You Amen. will have lasting life in your marriage. You are in the perfect will of God. Amen. You know? And, 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 and lastly, what I want to talk about is understanding what is the bait that the enemy is always using to bring strife into your marriage. I spoke about it earlier on. It's also in the book. But understanding, Ukuti, uh, you must do monitoring and evaluation. <laughs> it you sounds, know, facilitators it sounds, yeah. understand the language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds corporate, but mm. that is what we did, you know. Kumnandi, there are no fights, there are no issues to discuss, but we sit down and say, love, um, how can I be a better wife to you? And he would say, how can I be a better husband to you? What are, what are the things that you think I need to improve on? Mm -hmm. There's no fight. So obviously nobody will take offense mm -hmm. because there's no fight. And also, when you do that monitoring and evaluation, you, you, you are honest, there are no offenses, and you work on what has been identified as areas of improvement. Mm -hmm. So the next time we're doing monitoring and evaluation again, we start by saying, from what you said the last time, do you think I've improved? Yeah. Uh, do you think I still need to do, to improve more, you know? And so that, that was the glue for us. We were doing that monitoring and evaluation all the time. While and traveling. While traveling, <laughs> you know, while walking on the beach, you know? So, yeah. And, 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 and this book is, is a guide, you know, you can, you can reference to it. Ending I libali, ending in our libala, is that partnership with the Holy Spirit. Partnership with the Holy Spirit. Partnership with the Holy Spirit. Because it's the Holy Spirit that will tell you, good, mm -mm, you are losing it. Mm. Mm. It's the Holy Spirit mm. that will show you the blind spot yeah. that you are not seeing. Because sometimes, I mean, we think we are we we are in it, and we are really doing it. And there are blind spots. So it's the Holy Spirit that would say, you, actually, you talk too much, you know, mm. or actually, you know, you are controlling. Yeah. You, you, you understand, and it's so beautiful when the Holy Spirit is identifying those issues. Then you can work on them. Where do we find your book, Mama? My book is available on my website, www.lastinglove.co.za. And as of yesterday, it is now also available on Amazon. Yes, I received the message. Yeah, kdp.amazon.com. You know, okay. yeah, it can be found there. Was it easy for you to author this book? <sighs> this book was a miracle on its own. Um, I think... Six months uh, in the passing of my late husband, I was sitting there and I was saying, God, you remember we wanted to write this book. And by the way, he finished his part of the book. Mm. So I had to do mine, but it was painful. I could not finish the book. And he said to me, not all is lost. Just write the guide, okay. you know. And okay. this book took 90 days to be written. <laughs> To be published, mm. you know, 90 days max. It was not, I, I can't say it's easy, but it was not difficult because I was so relying on the Holy Spirit. Every chapter in the book was inspired by the Holy Spirit. So this is mainly to, what's the message, if you were to br briefly tell us, is, is it a dedication to your husband or it's a message to us, uh, the younger ones and even older ones, to say love is possible and it exists? Uh, the message is lasting love is possible. To the one who wants to get married, to the one who is already married, you know, and also it's a dedication to my, to my late husband. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he gave you the best life. Yes. Possible. Yes. And would you say that, um, you, you know, your or rather your contribution to the marriage um, was also vital in making it a success? 
If so, how so? Yeah. It takes two to tango, you know. And uh, sometimes as people, we have these desires. I want, I want this from my husband, and I want this, and I want this. And uh, the question should always be, but the thing that I'm expecting my spouse to do or to be, do I have those? Mm. Do I have them? Mm. If I was put in these shoes, would I be able to do that? Mm. You know? And so you find that we have these expectations that we ourselves cannot meet them should we be put in that position. So, you know, you read with the psychological states and divorce states and et cetera, that reasons for that are usually reasons for divorce or separation and sometimes anxiety in marriages, cheating as the first one, and then secondly would be finance. What is your take on that? You, you, are, you are spot on. Cheating is, a, is, a, is the biggest bait that the enemy is, is using. But you can't you can't you can't stop somebody from cheating. <laughs> but <laughs> you can't <laughs> you can't it's, a, it's, it's it, you can't it's just a behavioral issue. But you can pray and ask God. You see how the partnership with the Holy Spirit is so important mm. because the Holy Spirit can show you that there is this cheating thing coming. Usually. Yes, there is this cheating thing coming. He would show you. He would even direct you as to how to pray for it Amen. before it happens. Mm. You understand? So I cannot emphasize it more that that partnership with the Holy Spirit will save you so much grief. Yeah. Yeah. And someone would be sitting there saying, Mom, beauty, you are because of course they were wealthy. They they are doing well, no doubt that. Um, financially they were okay, that's why she had the fairy tale marriage. Would you say it's true? Or one can create their own? <laughs> you create your own wealth. Like in my situation, Utata was a spender. <laughs> yeah. Utata was a spender. And I'm the Chama one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm the one that was always, you know, cautious in financing. And sometimes I would see that it wants to bring... Um, discomfort Strife. yeah in the marriage and so instead of confronting him I mean guys I'm giving you tips now <laughs> instead of me confronting him yo but you are a spender if he says let's go to the shop before we go to the shop I do my little prayer you know I do my little prayer God please we're not gonna fight but we are we are not gonna buy things that are unnecessary so I've done my little prayer in my closet, yeah. you know. And so when we got there, you know, it will just be easy. So it's important also to know Uguti because if Umtu has worked all his life, you can't really be that controlling. that You must just be generous about them because mm -hmm. for that matter, because you don't want that conversation to go there, but it's my money. Why are you controlling me? Mm -hmm. You know, and so like me, partnership with the Holy Spirit, always pray about anything and everything and it just becomes easier. Okay. Ma, where do people find you for speaking engagements? Because definitely, na, seated here, I definitely know that the date nights that are, are brewing with the couples, we are going to have you as one of the speakers coming in. Wow. So where do people find you? Abe funuku phonela or send you an email okay. uh, for other engagements. Of course you bring lasting love with you. Yes. Yes. My website www.lastinglove.co.za there is a part there where you need to if you need to have a conversation with me that you can you can converse with me there. You can also find me on my uh, email address Dr. Beauty. 62 at gmail uh, dot, dot com also on my whatsapp 084 wouldn't you love to have a mother-in-law like mom beauty is simply a married ma 
Not yet. Ah, but Zio Kazi is married. <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, how would you say that overall your journey, you know, uh, now that to that Agaseko, your journey has been, it's a year and a month, um, you know, has been since? Yo, my journey has been awesome. Awesome. You know, initially I did not think that I would be able to. And uh, I remember when it happened, because it happened so all of a sudden, I said to God, okay, I don't understand, but I don't question you at the same time. But just not all I gave because I have those conversations with him. Mm. So just whisper to me, you know, Uguti, what kind, you know? And the Lord said to me, gave me an illustration of a rocket. He says a rocket when it's built, it's got so many parts. But as the rocket goes higher, some of the parts, they will just start to fall off. Not that they were not important, but for the altitude where the rocket is going to, that extra baggage is not needed or that extra weight. And so the Lord said to me, not that Utata was not important. He was important for that part of your life. But where I am leading you to now, it's a, it's a different altitude. It needs a specific uh, weight. So when I look now, I mean, writing a book, 90 Days, the book is, is, is published. A year later, the book is launched. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's just, it's another speed, you know. Mm -hmm. But I, I can tell you honestly, it's the Lord's doing. It has nothing to do with me. I don't know. God is just leading me, is just directing me, you know, to places that me, myself, I'm in awe. It, it's, it's something else I cannot explain in words. Or I can just say, the Lord is just glorious. Amen. Yeah. There you have it. My viewers, please like, share, Please subscribe to Unlock with Tando Maumelo so that you can be able to get, you know, uh, in touch with the conversations that I'll be having with the likes of your Dr. Beauty Makudu, who was in the house today, the author of Lasting Love. I pray that you who is married, you are married in community of purpose. Those who are in my circle know that I always say, it is best to be married in community of purpose as opposed to be married in community of property. Yeah. I love you.